My name is Claude Carter. I come from Fitzroy Crossing and I'm one of the artists for Magalia. And I got a community of my own called Bauruga. And I'm a Guni Andy and a Gija. I paint for Magalia. I'm one of the painters and I'm one of the directors for Magalia. We've got a lot of community around Fitzroy Valley and they all paint through Magaja. Yeah. There's only not only one tribe, there's there's all different tribes what paint through Magaja. As a director we we listen to the artists, they tell us the problem or anything like that and we as a committee we take it back to the meeting and we sort that one out. I mainly paint my grandmother country. Yeah, like I want my grandmother country to be recognized. I'll try to protect that area and um, one day I could be a mining, must go there and try to destroy that area and that's why I do my painting to make wh white people that they can understand my painting and and protect my area. The stories are still strong, still there. They've been handed down to their kids and that, you know. To pass that knowledge on, you gotta really go out to your country and do a field trip. You gotta take your mob with you. And that's where they're gonna really get their knowledge from and their history and and they know where they really stand, you know, the young people. And once they get that feeling, then they'll, they know how to paint. And it's really come from your heart and your soul and your mind. All these paintings come from, you know. When they go back to country and when they show the next generation, once they go to that area, it really, really touched them inside, you know and they want to protect that area now. They want to start painting them. It's just like a white person want to be a doctor. He don't, he'll, he'll have to go to the white man's school and teach, learn that thing. And he get that knowledge and everything at the school and he's a doctor. Well, it's a little bit same like us. We got to go back to a country and really get that knowledge probably because this history it doesn't go back 10 years ago it go back 40,000 years you know our yard is very big big yard you know and like a white man you got a white man they buy the they buy a house they got their little yard they get up in the morning they mow it they water it they maintain it. Same like us one. We got a bigger yard out there. And we go out there and maintain our yard too. We, it's like home back there too. It's our home, you know. And when you do your painting, keep you strong in that. You get more stronger. And But you got to still have that field trip back to country, you know. Back to your country to get that feeling back again. Sometimes you can paint, paint, and it doesn't really come come strong enough. You started to lose it a bit. Then you gotta go back again. And then you can feel that present again. You get stronger inside. And you go back and your painting come more more stronger. I went back home, I had dreams of my painting, what my painting gonna turn out to be in that area. So uh, one morning I got up, I just got a brush, started to paint, and I finished, I stand back and look at it, hey, I didn't know I can paint, you know? And like a, in another way, when I went back to my area, my people was there, they souls was there, you know? And they, like, they gave me a gift through my fingers. 
and through my soul, you know. And when I paint, I still can't believe it that I done that painting, you know. And it's a lot of dream, and it's mainly our ancestors, but inside us, you're shown us. You know? That's why I'm learning how to paint. We we still respect our elders. They come first. They number one. You know. And they got the knowledge. They got the history. Us young people, we just coming up slowly behind them. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be a director in Magaya and a painter because I learned a lot from my elders. That's it. Yeah.